welcome, welcome. Hello, hello to all of you joining our webinar today. The topic on learn all about the same as the natural healing springs in nature, our liver, which is a duplicate of nature's wonder. Sulfur, the fire in nature, that's bubbling up from the earth, the mineral springs bubbling up from the earth. And the native cultures, the American Indi Indians know, and different native cultures know that when there's a healing spring, there is always greenery around the natural healing spring. So the sulfur of the fire, which is the amino acids methionine, cysteine, and taurine in your program, your vital life energy formulas, which is our blood, the conveyor of the life currents. The oxygen is the prana, the air in nature is the breath of life, our conveyor of oxygen in the air and in the bloodstream, and then the salt as the water of our body's fluids containing the chemistry of life and conveying, convey, conveying the virtual energies as well as our emotional impulses in us humans. Thank you all again and welcome, welcome for all of you joining and following Vital Life Energy Formulas. Vital Life Energy Formulas does not treat, diagnose, cure or profess a cure of any sort of disease. That amazing regenerative organ, our liver, our natural healing spring in our human body, our liver. If we take care of our liver, our liver will take care of us. There are two distinct sources that supply blood to the liver. We call the liver the brain axis as a lot of people hear of the gut brain axis. We will share the liver brain axis. Oxygenated blood flows in from the heptic artery and nutrient rich blood flows in from the heptic portal veins. Now, a lot of you know of us teaching about the portal veins, the splenic gastric arteries, the veins that connect from the spleen into the stomach, into the kidneys, into the portal system. And that's also the reason that Jeff has taught a lot about doing the different treatments that we've recommended when you're following the Vital Life Energy Program. And that's different coffee enemas and aloe vera because it's clearing the portal system. The liver has two main sections. Both are made up of eight segments. The segments are made of thousands of small lobes. These lobes are connected to small ducts, tubes, that are connected with larger ducts to ultimately form the common, common heptic duct. The common heptic duct transports bile around, or bile made by the liver first, cells to the gallbladder, so the liver produces the bile from, again, the amino acid, methionine, an essential amino acid. Cysteine and taurine are the sulfur amino acids, the duplication of mother nature, the miracle of mother nature, the healing springs, the bubbling up of the healing springs coming from the core of the earth. So the liver produces bile from those sulfur amino acids that then sends that bile into the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a little tiny sac located just underneath the central part of the, the liver that stores bile for when we eat. That bile is what activates our digestion of our fats and sugars and turns that fat into energy. Plus also hormone because fat is essential for our hormone production. So the segments are made of thousands of small lobes in the liver connected to the small ducts that connect with larger ducts to ultimately form the common heptic duct. The common heptic duct transports bile made by the liver cells in the gallbladder and first part of the small intestine to the duodenum. Now remember, the stomach breaks down the food from the liver and the 
bile flow from the liver to the gallbladder, which the gallbladder squirts bile. And how does the gallbladder squirt bile into the stomach, which then into the duodenum, and then activate the digestive enzymes within the stomach along with the hydrochloric acid, but also very importantly, our pancreas and our pancreatic enzymes within our pancreas, plus also the hormone within the pancreas. How does the liver know to do that? Through the mutation of the mouth. Just like a baby, when a baby is born, and immediately when they latch on to mother's breast and the nipple, the stimulation at the top of the roof of the mouth activates the oxytocin in the baby that calms the baby. The baby's unsettled, and as soon as they latch on to the nipple, Immediately that stimulates the top of the roof of the mouth, releases the oxytocin to the top of the roof of the mouth into the brain, into the hypothalamus. That oxytocin is what calms the baby and that baby goes into an euphoria and becomes limp and calm and content. So that's how the gallbladder gets a message, right, through the amino acids that we recommend, specifically those sulfur amino acids, the duplication of mother earth, mother nature, and the healing spring of the mother nature and the greenery around their natural healing springs in nature. Those amino acids that are the sulfur amino acids activate the top of the roof of the mouth into the brain to stimulate the alkalinity within our liver to the acidity within the gallbladder to release the bile ducts, open up the bile ducts and squeeze and release bile into the duodenum, which is then signals to the splenic gastric arteries to activate the digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid within the stomach and as well as our pancreatic enzymes. Everything works together. So it stimulates just like a baby when a baby latches on to the nipple of the mother and is unsettled and as soon as they start to suckle, they calm and they relax and they go into the euphoria because the top of the roof of the mouth when they suckle stimulates the oxytocin release from the hypothalamus into the heart of the baby, into the thymus of the baby as the thymus is expanding as the baby's growing to be at its largest at the age of two to three years. When you take your amino acids, your vital life energy formulas, it's stimulating that same principle. If you can keep it in your mouth and swish it around for a little bit before you swallow it, you're getting the same response as when we were first given those fortified amino acids, which is mother's milk, and being stimulated straight in the top of the roof of the mouth to the brain and activating the liver alkalinity within the liver to the acidity within the gallbladder to activate the bile from the liver to the gallbladder for the gallbladder to squirt and release bile into the duodenum and set up that whole digestive tract. As I shared at the beginning, is the liver brain access. The brilliance of Jeff and Alain and what they've created with the amino acid program, the vital life energy form is, is understanding the pathways. You can go and take free form amino acids. They don't work if you don't understand the pathways and that's their brilliance. I'm sharing their brilliance to all of you, that methionine, the sulfur, the same duplication of mother nature, the healing spring, that methionine that makes cysteine, the methionine and cysteine makes taurine. 75% of mother's milk is made up of taurine. A baby when they're born doesn't have the stomach lining, the gastric juices, doesn't have the mucosa lining, doesn't have the same flow of the you know, mucosa lining of the gastric splenic arteries lining the stomach. It's through the taurine that's fortified in mother's milk is how that's all being activated and stimulated. The heart and muscle formula, you'll see the methionine. You'll see the cysteine. I know there's a lot of duplications of the amino acids in taurine for example which is in the hm it's in the li it's in the bc 
it's in the CE, it's in the PA, it's in the SC, it's in a lot of the different formulas. Why? Jeff and Alin knew by looking at seeing the nutrients that mother's milk is made up of, that a baby doesn't have the stomach to digest food, solids, yet they grow the quickest and the fastest within the six, first six months of their life. And that's the amino acids, the taurine levels and the amino acids that mother's milk is fortified with. Baby poo, the elimination of a baby is soft and liquid. It's very yellow and sometimes green and orange. That's the bile. That's the liver, the alkalinity within the liver to the acidity from the liver to the gallbladder and the bile ducts in the baby opening up and releasing bile straight into the duodenum and setting up that stomach lining, those gastric juices, activating the heptic portal arteries, feeding into the stomach lining, into the kidneys, pancreas, straight into the small intestine and there into the portal system, which I just shared about oxygenated blood and nutrient supply blood through the portal system back to the heptic artery. So that methionine, very important amino acid, as I was sharing, it's in a lot of the different formulas, HM, SC, BC, PA, it's in a CE, it's in a lot of the different formulas, methionine. It's a very important amino acid because it protects the body from damage caused by radiation. Very important. We are all being radiated. We're on our phones. We're being exposed to a lot of ways of radiation today. So it's very important that amino acids for we are all being exposed to high levels of radiation. That methionine, the amino acid, detoxifies harmful substance in the body. These include heavy metals. It also prevents liver damage from any sort of poisoning, chemical poisoning, whether that's medication or recreational. And it can also be environmental. For example, a mechanic being exposed to carbon monoxide and it helps prevent fat deposits within our liver. Methionine, as I said at the beginning, the brilliance of Jeff and Alin and understanding the amino acids and the pathways. Methionine activates SAMI. It's an antioxidant, so it gets rid of free radicals and it contributes to slowing down any aging and any sort of diseases. Reduces cell damages, right, in the liver. Improves insulin sensitivity, insulin resistance. Also very important for the pathway of dopamine, which is why, you know, people can have the inflammation in the brain as a disease known as Parkinson's, as a lack of dopamine. The methionine is important for the pathway to SAMI to activate dopamine. It takes care of ulcerated colitis, inflammation, bottom line, because it's getting rid of, it's an antioxidant. It's got antioxidant activity, which means it increases oxygen and it, it neutralizes any free radicals. It's very important for DNA, the building blocks of proteins and cells. It supports the immune function. It activates sperm production. It breaks down some you know, free radicals, as we know, and it's, it, it activates certain enzyme functions. It regenerates vitamin C and vitamin E. It's very important for the brain transporting oxygen in the blood to the brain to pass the blood-brain barrier. Helps the liver and the gallbladder deal with fats, and removes damaged cells. So again, back to the formulas that I was sharing about that has those specific amino acids, the methionine, the cysteine, the taurine, as I was sharing about the understanding of mother's milk fortified with that amino acid taurine. 
That taurine activates the hypothalamus to release oxytocin into our heart, into our thymus, the diamond soul. Amino acids in our liver break down into glycogen or glucose. A number of you have heard us share this repeatedly. Glucose maintains oxygen and it increases metabolism. It provides fuel for the brain and functions through the generation of ATP and Denzel triphosphate increases the mitochondria. It maintains and increases cellular energy and generate generation of the neurotransmitters. Skeletal muscles are a major source of energy, of glucose that is, due to its large mass, because glucose comes from protein. And I know this gets you know confusing because most people are taught that glucose is sugar. When you eat a protein, one needs to be able to break that protein down, which is the reason we are very, you know, we recommend a protein diet that's more plant-based, vegetarian, because it is easier to break down where animal protein takes much longer to break down. And because the digestive system, because the liver gets so overloaded, the bile flow from the liver to the gallbladder, then the digestion's off, and the food that people are eating if it's meat, it can sit in the stomach for 12 to 24 hours, even up to 48 hours before it moves from your stomach intestine, small intestine that is, to your large intestine. In that time, you're getting high levels of uric acid, you're getting oxidation, you're getting fermentation, and you're losing energy because the fats oxidize and the oxidation creates the plaque. The oxidation of the plaque will happen first in the lining of the small intestine, which will then enter the bloodstream. The pancreas, again, liver, gallbladder, pancreas. These all work together. So glycogen, when you eat a protein food, you have to break that protein down into free form amino acids. Then those free form amino acids from that protein source of food that you've eaten, when the liver is activating enough methionine, enough cysteine, that sulfur healing spring of the liver and the taurine levels, which methionine and cysteine make the taurine, to activate the bile flow to the liver to the gallbladder for the gallbladder to squirt that bile, open up the bile ducts and stimulate that hydrochloric acid digestive enzymes to break down that protein source that you're eating into free form amino acids, which then go into the bloodstream at the beginning of the small intestine, right at the end of the duodenum, which emulsifies the food. Those nutrients then enter the bloodstream, go to your liver, and it's the liver that converts it into glycogen for glucose. Now, what does that mean? What does that actually mean? Well, that glucose is maintaining oxygen. It's helping our pancreas and the hormone production within the pancreas, the gastrin, the glycogen, and plays an important role in maintaining sugar and salt balance in your body. During digestion, our pancreas actually makes pancreatic juices that activate enzymes. So your liver is an important role of helping our digestive enzymes within the duodenum, the gastrointestinal tract. These digestion, digestive enzymes from these amino acids, from the healing spring of our liver, is essential for the manic, manic, manicular absorption across the gastrointestinal surface. During digestion, our pancreas makes the pancreatic juices, right, called enzymes. These enzymes break down sugars, fats, as well as starches. 
Your pancreas will also help digest the digestive system by making hormones because insulin is a hormone. So if we do not have these nutrients in the liver to set up the whole process of the pancreatic enzyme, digestive enzymes, hydrochloric acid, to break down the protein into glycogen for glucose, then we're going to have our pancreas start using more insulin and lose the hormone that we need because that insulin is compensating to maintain oxygen within the blood to convert the sugars and the fats into energy. When that happens, the body then starts to use up the hormone within the testes in the male and the ovaries in the female and starts to use up the progesterone to compensate because it's a vital organ, the liver and the pancreas. These are vital organs. So nature knows I need to have these nutrients. I need to have these hormones in the liver, in the pancreas. So I'm going to take it from this endocrine system, take it directly to the insulin and the pancreas to keep the pancreas hydrated and start to use up the ovaries and use up the hormone in the testes and the ovaries and it starts leaching the progesterone out to take it straight to your pancreas. That's the reason the program is based on doing a minimum of three times a day. I know a lot of us will do it four times, but a minimum of three times a day. A minimum of three times a day is making sure that you're getting those amino acids that take no digestion that are in the liver, activating the regeneration of your liver and keeping the glucose levels balanced so your pancreas stays rehydrated. You stimulate the digestive enzymes within the stomach, the hydrochloric acid, and activate the pancreatic enzymes. That then increases the endocrine link to your ovaries, your adrenals, your hypothalamus, your pineal, your pituitary, your thyroid, your parathyroid, and that thymus gland. Human beings live in the sapphire of nature. It includes the thin layer surrounding the earth, the soil cover, and any living creature. Without nature, human beings cannot live normal lives. In other words, we need nature more than nature needs us. Nature can exist without humans, but humans cannot exist without nature. Nitrogen comprises of 3% of the human body by mass. It is found in all organisms, in molecules such as your amino acids, which make up proteins, DNA, and RNA, and and denzel, and denzyme triphosphate, ATP, an essential energy transfer molecule. Most of the human body is water, with an average of roughly 60%. The amount of water in the body changes slightly, obviously, with age, sex, hydration levels. Well, the average percent of water in a person's body is around 60%. The percent can vary from roughly 45 to 75%. Babies have a higher level or a higher percentage of water, but obviously as one gets older, it decreases. Obviously, the levels can change depending on temperature regulation, cellular function, and also waste removal. Carbon. It's roughly 18% of the body mass and millions of carbons of atoms form thousands of molecules in virtually every cell. Carbon is the basic building block required to form proteins, carbohydrates and fats and plays a crucial role in regulating the psychology of the body. Where does the carbon come from? 
as we've shared, carbon, every amino acid has a carbon molecule. As humans, we breathe in oxygen and we exhale out carbon dioxide. The carbon will come in the food that we eat, the carbohydrates, the fats and the proteins we consume and digest are converted into a number of different biochemical pathways in the body to glucose. Then we add our fatty acids in there for they store energy and they insulate us and protect our vital organs. They act as messages, right? Helping proteins to do their jobs. Fat is needed to build cell membranes. The vital exterior of each cell, the sheaths surrounding your nerves. It's essential for blood clotting, muscle movement, and any sort of inflammation. For long-term health, some obviously fatty acids are better than others, right? Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which of course is the reason we give a program. It's not about taking just free form amino acids. We give a program. We give you the casserole packs. We teach you about the olive oil, whether we have that on our food or we do it as a olive oil, lemon, a slight gallbladder flush, and then following with the ginger and lemon tea. It's a program. The application of the casserole packs gets changed to different areas that we might recommend that you need to have it in. And as you've been on the program for those of you that have followed the Vital Life Energy Formers for years, will know intuitively, put it on the thymus, intuitively, do it on the umbilicus down over the reproductive area, intuitively, the back of the neck, intuitively across the shoulders, intuitively on the coccyx, You'll know which area to put your casserole packs intuitively as you're doing the program, as you're learning what we're teaching. So back to the liver, it makes bile, which helps carry away waste, break down fats in the small intestine during digestion. It makes certain proteins for blood plasma. It makes cholesterol and special proteins to help carry fats through the body, stores and releases glucose as needed, processes hemoglobin to use it as iron. The liver stores iron. It changes harmful ammonia to urea. Urea is one of the end products of protein metabolism that is excreted in urine. It clears the blood of medicine and other harmful substances regulates blood clotting, fights infection by making immune factors and removing bacteria from the bloodstream, clears bilirubin. When your liver has broken down harmful substance, they are excreted into bile or blood. Bile byproducts enter the intestine and ultimately leave the body in bowel movements ultimately leave the body in bowel movements. Blood byproducts are filtered out by the kidneys and leave the body in the form of urine. There are nine essential amino acids. Methionine is one of them. Essential amino acids are made by the human body and must instead be acquired from our diet. Non-essential amino acids, by contrast, are synthesized by the human body. And again, that's the brilliance of how Jeff and Olin have created the formulas and created the program, making sure we get those nine essential amino acids in the program that methionine being a very important one of those nine essential amino acids, the lysine, the leucine, the isoleucine, the histidine, the valine. Your liver continually produces bile. This is a chemical that helps turn fats into energy that your body uses. Bile is necessary for digestive process. Your liver also creates albium. 
Albium is a major protein made by the liver that plays an important role in regulating blood volume and dis distribution of fluids in the body. It's made by methionine, glumatic acid, glutamine, aspartic acid, lysine, and arginine. Both peptides and proteins are made up of strings of the body's basic building blocks, amino acids, and held together by peptide bonds. In basic terms, the difference is that peptides are made of small chains of amino acids than proteins. Enzymes are proteins comprised of amino acids linked together in one or more polypeptide chains. The sequence of amino acids in the polypeptide chain is called the primary structure. How amazing is this duplication of the healing bond or the connection of the one of the wonders of the world, the bubbling up of the mineral springs of the healing in nature, a natural healing mineral spring. So as I was sharing uh, 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 with the liver and somebody had a really good question about the liver and how do you know whether the liver, what the liver needs? Well, the liver's intelligent. It's incredibly intelligent. When you give it the program, the way that the program is set with the pathways and the different metabolic pathways that the methionine, which makes SAMI, which makes glutathione, it's also important for it activates the adrenals and then, you know, it's, it's one of those main amino acids in the liver as an essential amino acid that does a number of different pathways in our body. So the glutathione that the methionine will produce is an essential part of increasing oxygen as it's a natural way of increasing the most powerful antioxidant. When we get to the age of 50, glutathione levels drop by 50%. Those of you that started the program when you were younger, those levels have not dropped because you built them up before you reach that age of 50. When you start on the treatment, no matter how old you are, because it's activating all those peptides and, and enzymes and all the things we talked about, it's activating your natural growth hormone. It's setting up those different pathways. It's stimulating your thymus gland and the stem cells within the bone marrow. The amino acids are the raw material of your stem cells to activate your own stem cells. That's increasing the thymus gland, even though as we get older, the thymus shrinks. The anti-aging process of what you're doing is your thymus expanding from the stem cells of the amino acids activating within the bone marrow through the raw material of those amino acids, your stem cells. The liver's intelligence, remember, the intelligent organ, the most rejuvenating organ in the human body is your liver. It's the most intelligent organ. You give it the right nutrients, the right treatments, the right diet, which of course alcohol is one of the worst things for the liver because it destroys glutathione in the liver and it totally switches off your liver's metabolism of fat, which is an insulator of all your organs, it switches it off for 24 hours. One drop of alcohol does. So treatments, diet, lifestyle, and your program is your intelligence of your liver knows how to take care of you. You give it what it needs, it'll take care of you. You can have your liver be calcified like a rock and not die of liver disease. The liver, you can cut out half of it and it'll grow back. That's how amazing our liver is. It's the feminine organ in the human body. Nature is how we heal. When we step one with nature, that activates the healing. In nature, nature's looking for regeneration. It's not looking for disease. It's not looking for detox. It's not looking for cleanse. It's looking for regeneration. Everything in nature is wanting to regenerate. And that's the power of the healing power of your liver. The miracle and the wonder 
of the healing power of the healing spring, your liver. Thank you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Have a wonderful weekend. And those of you that can join Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you're welcome to join. Have a beautiful day.